Awesome. So we just put the post on the business page, wrote out of the text. And this part's so important too, because now that we're going to go run the ad, we're not going to be able to change the text anymore. Okay. That's why I always try to focus on this part first, making sure there's no grammar errors, making sure we, we wrote exactly what we wanted because we're not going to be able to change it once we, once we jump into the ad part. So, so we're good there. We're good there. We got the video title. We got the edit. We're good. So now let's just open up another tab and let's go to the ads manager. Um, we can go to your folder or we can just go oh, the to folder. Okay. Yeah, yes. The folder comes in handy. Okay. Perfect. So we'll go to ads manager. Um, so step one is putting the post on the business page. That's step one. <clears throat> and then step two is coming okay. over here and setting up the ad. And then step three is setting up the custom audience. So we can track okay. the thousands of views that are going to see the video. So we can then retarget in the future with, with more ads. That's what it's all about. And I, and I can't stress that part enough. And, and that's what I knew you were missing in the very, very beginning. I'm like, damn, let me just show her how to do these, these audiences because 99% of all of this, when it comes to social media marketing in general, 99% of it is about custom audiences, whether yeah. it's LinkedIn, whether it's YouTube, whether it's TikTok, whether it's Instagram ads, people are running Instagram ads. You know, you're in your newsfeed seeing, seeing ads on whatever. 99% of it is all about custom audiences. So when you see people that are crushing it with advertising, it's because they're focused on it 99% of the time. They're focused on building audiences. That's all. That's all it's about is, is, okay. is getting back in front of people who watch your last video. That's all it's about. And when you can do that multiple times and that individual in your local area keeps seeing you, that's when you win. Nice. Right. It's, it's, it's the omnipresence. It's the, yeah. it's the branding effect. And that's why a lot of times it's not even always about the lead. Like in our business, like your business, my business, it, it, it is right. It's all about the lead. It's all about mm -hmm. the appointment. I need someone on the phone. I need to talk to somebody right now. It's all about the lead for right. sure. But in this case, you have to, when it comes to, when it comes to social media advertising now, you have to also calculate and you also have to take into account the branding effect. The fact that thousands of people in Humble are going to now start to see your face. Mm -hmm. They might not have clicked. They might not have downloaded your seller guide just yet, right? They didn't enter their information on anything just yet. But all of a sudden, thousands of people locally are now starting to see our face. Yeah. There's value to that, like major, yeah, major value, right? And as we stay consistent, and that's what I'm trying to say, like, all this takes is 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 one video like this every 15 days. Now, this is this first one's going to be brand awareness. The only objective, the whole objective is to capture the audience of this first video and then retarget them with with ad number two and on. And it's on ad number two and on when we're going for leads. Okay. So this is just our breakout. This is just, hey, guys, this is just like door knocking for the first time and, yeah. and getting to know our neighbors. Okay. That's all this is. And, and I'm, I'm going to go knock these doors for three hours. I'm going to go knock this entire community. Not everyone's going to answer the door, but the few that do, I'm going to make sure that I make a great impression, right? Yeah. Because those people that open the door, they're going to get my business card. I'm going to shake their hand. I'm going to get their contact information and I'm going to make a friend. That's kind of this <clears throat> on a grander scale. We're going to run it as an ad, get thousands of people to, to, to view it, but not everyone's going to view 15 seconds of it. Not everyone's yeah. going to view 30 seconds of it. Not everyone's going to view the whole damn thing. Right? right. So, so all we're doing is, is trying to, how long is it a minute, minute, something. Yeah. Yeah. So, something. so once we set it up, we'll go and create the audience around those who watch 25% of it. So the 25% that watch, or, or actually I should say, let me, let me rephrase that. The people who watch 25% of your one minute video, those are the people that open the door. That makes sense. Now, again, they may not be planning on selling now, but they open the door and yeah. they, and, and you shook their hand and, and they got a good glimpse of who you are, right? That's, that's this, but on a grand scale. And then all we're going to do is just, again, focus on retargeting them, show them another ad, show them another ad, show them another ad until before you know it, they're falling in love with you. They're, they become indoctrinated, which means they, they start to know you they start to feel like they know you because i keep seeing yeah. your face i keep seeing you you know and 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 it's not that you're just posting random stuff you're actually educating us on something so that, that that's what makes it even more powerful because it's not like she's just posting random stuff she's actually educating me on something she's teaching me on what it takes to sell right right so 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 there's just so much that comes in it but 
the consistency of it is is the magic is staying consistent with it and building that brand to get people indoctrinated which means they become they they feel like they like you they feel like they trust you and they feel like they can do business with you because they keep seeing you awesome and 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 again it's it's local local viewing right so that's that's what's so powerful so so this ad right here what what ad was this was this something we were just playing around with or what was this yeah this was just we were playing around with it okay let's just delete this one so check the box to the left and then let's just um delete yeah so you you um hit the more yeah the more the more will actually okay. there we go yeah that should delete it okay and then click on the middle tab ad sets see if it deleted there as well okay cool perfect and then the third tab ads <clears throat> so these are the three tabs right so we're going to spend a lot of time on these three tabs campaigns okay. ad sets and ads so so now let's click the green button so let's go ahead and, and start the ad so as we go through the three steps, that's all this is. It's taken us through these three steps. Mm -hmm. um, we need to confirm a few details. Okay, so go to account overview. And there's just like a box that you got to check. So if you ever see that notification, it's normally because you're 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 kind of running ads for the first time. So you got to just okay. confirm. Yeah, hit that confirm right there. And we're good. Okay, awesome. So okay. now just, you can click the green button for there. Perfect, create. Okay, awesome. So now we're going to the, through the three steps, those three tabs. That's all mm -hmm. it is, the three tabs. The first tab, campaigns, is simply choosing the objective. This is where everyone drops the ball as well. There's these, there's these six objectives, awareness, traffic, engagement, leads, app, and sales. This is where everyone drops the ball. Um, they don't choose the correct objective. Now, ad number two and on, we'll get more detailed into the objectives, but here we're mm -hmm. going to just keep it simple and we're going to awareness. This is a video. Our only objective is to get thousands of people to view it. Um, and so we're going to go awareness. So hit continue. Okay. So step one, the campaign tab is choosing the objective, hitting the drop down for a special ad category and going housing. <clears throat> so right there, the categories, hit that drop down, go housing. And that's it. That's step one um, of the tab campaigns. Hit next. And we're good. We're good with all of that. We don't need any of that. So hit next. And then now we're going to the second step, the second tab, which is the ad set tab. In the ad set level, we're going to choose our budget. We're going to choose our targeting. We're going to choose our placement. We're going to choose the calendar on when it when the ad starts and when's it when it ends. Okay. It's all done in this second step. So um, now we'll just scroll down. So that's the correct Facebook page. We're good there. Um, we'll just come down to the budget. So change the daily. Go to go to lifetime. So. What you want to do here, our whole thing here is we can run this for 15 days. Like it doesn't need, right. to be, need to be really longer. So over the next 30 days, you want to kind of just start to plan your budget. Like what's our, what's a comfortable monthly Facebook ad budget? So I was looking to do 250 for the month. Perfect. So divide that by two. So 125. Put 125 here and then, and then go 15 days. So that's what I was saying earlier is that I truly believe Rachel, like I, like I, I, I swear, like I truly believe if you were to focus on this 125 every 15 days, and then, and then, and then as you get deals, then you, you reinvest that in that, at, and that budget goes a little higher. Okay. Right. Should we just do it to the 14? It's only a few more days extra and then do another ad. For the perfect. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. And then, and then 6 AM. So 6 AM mm -hmm. and you're going to go, actually, you're going to go 27 to, because today's the 26th. So you're going to start it the next day. Okay. Yeah, so that that might push it to the fifteenth. Oh. Or does it? I don't know. Does it actually? Well, it was a, an extra couple than... of days that I put in there. So I wanted to make sure that from here going on, we can like. Perfect. Perfect. The We're into the fourteenth. <laughs> Leave it to the fourth. Let it end on the fourteenth. Okay. Yeah, that that's fine. And then and then the fifteenth, we run run from fifteenth to thirtieth. Perfect. So six a.m. six a.m. Um, start time end time. No, but what I, what I was saying though is that this this one every fifteen days can literally re literally replace all the organic posting that you're doing, like awesome. all the organic, like I'm telling all the organic posting, the LinkedIn's, the TikToks, the Instagram, like all this crap. Like I'm telling you, going all in on your local area will replace all that, <clears throat> all that. So you'll you'll see you'll see. So we're good there on the date. We're good. Okay, now we're gonna scroll down. We don't have any custom audiences that we're gonna retarget now. So we're fine there, but the locations go back up to the U.S., United States. So mm -hmm. hover over the United States, click on edit, and then um, let's simply, and we're going people living in. So hit the drop down. Um, 
at the drop down right above United States. Yeah, that drop down. So we're going to always be going with people living in this location since we're focused on homeowners. Oh, so cool. Okay. Right. And that, that's a huge difference. Watch, look at all of them. Hit, hit the drop down again. I just want you to be familiar with everything in here. Oh. Hit that drop down again above. Um, oh, crap. States. sorry. Just right so you can see, yeah, just so you can see the differences. People living in this location, people recently in, people traveling oh, in, wow. people living in or recently in, right? So a lot of times as people are running ads, they don't even look at this part, right? That's so it's crazy. like, there's a huge difference between all of them. Yeah. Right. So if I'm going after homeowners, then yeah, for sure, people living in this location. So X out the United States, hover over U United States and just hit the X to the right. Okay. So this is when it starts, right? This is, this is it. So whatever, whatever location you put here is the, is the, is the location you're going to focus on from this point on. Okay. Um, now you could, you could, there's two ways you can do this part. You could put in the city or the town, just like, just like that, or you can put in an actual address. And, and build a 15, because 15 miles is the minimum. So mm -hmm. building a 15 mile radius around your actual physical address is pretty powerful as well. Or you could just target the whole town. It's it's up to you. Well, Umbo's not that big, so I'd rather. Okay, perfect. So then just right there, city. Perfect. We're good. <laughs> so you can go 15 miles or you can go, you can go up to 50. Um, where? Oh, right here? No. No, a little higher. So right where the um, city 15 miles hit oh, the drop see, down. Okay. Yeah. So right here, that 15 in the box, do you do we want to go higher or should we stay at 15? I don't know. Um, what do you think? I I mean let's see. Hmm. Um maybe a little higher. Yeah, go 20. So take away 15, hit, hit type in 20 and then hit enter. Yeah, so that would that would take you a little further. That's good. Okay, perfect, perfect. So now let's scroll down. Um, age cannot change, gender cannot change, languages you cannot change. Advantage placement. This is where um, this is where we'll do testing. One ad will run advantage placement. One ad will run manual placement. But the advantage placement is just letting Facebook place the ad everywhere, and okay. everywhere is click on manual placement. Everywhere is here. So if you let, if you just leave it at advantage placement, yeah, click on manual. Mm -hmm. If you leave it at advantage placement, Facebook places it everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, audience network, scroll down. You'll see everything right below all the different placements. Oh, okay. So, and then click on feed right there on feeds to the left, the little arrow to the left of feeds of the word. Yeah. Click on that. That opens up. So scroll down, scroll down all oh, wow. these different placements is where, is where Facebook would place the ad. Now you would think that's a good thing. You would think that's mm -hmm. a good thing, but but it's not always a good thing at all. Um, and 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 you'll you'll I you'll probably agree with this because you're a consumer. I'm a consumer. Like, where mm -hmm. do we really spend most of our time at? Like when it's on when we're on Facebook, for example, or even on Instagram, or even on LinkedIn, or even on TikTok. Just on the feed. On the feeds, right? Like yeah. that's, right. That's that's just the bottom line. We're all on the feeds. So a lot of times I I I just want to go feeds. A lot of times we'll go manual placement, we'll mm -hmm. uncheck everything and only leave the feed. Okay. So keep no, that. No, wait, 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 wait. But that's for ad number two and on. Oh, okay. So ad number two, as I'm going for leads, I'm gonna only go in the feed. Right. Now, sense. now, now my, now, now I'm looking for a cost per lead. I mm -hmm. want to make sure that my cost per lead is, is low. So I want to make sure Facebook's not spending all my money everywhere on all these placements where there's not much mm -hmm. attention. Um, and yeah. Facebook, to tell you the truth, they're, they're very good. They only spend it on where the engagement is at. So even if, even if you left everything checked and, 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 and the placement is everywhere, mm -hmm. they're only going to force the money to where the highest engagement is at. So if there's no engagement on these other platforms, scroll down a little bit. So if there was no, if there was not much engagement in, in the stories or mm -hmm. in the in-stream or the overlay and, and post loop ads on reels, if there's not okay. much engagement, then they're not gonna dump the money there. But all the little, little nickels and dimes, that uh, adds up, it adds mm -hmm. up. So it's like, man, I don't want them to spread me too thin. I'd rather just have all my money go into the feed. Right. Right. So, so that's the strategy for ad number two and on is to really go edit placement majority of the time. Um, in this case today, we're going brand awareness. We want everyone and their mother to see this video. 
So we're going to leave it advantage and just let Facebook just place it everywhere okay. um, in, in this local area, right? Everywhere on the, pl on the platform in this local area. Right. Um, because we're trying to get as much data. We're trying to get as many views as possible on this, on this, on this video. So we'll leave it there. So we'll scroll down and hit next. So that's it. That's step two, the budget, um, the targeting, the placement, and, and that's it. Now we come to step three where we actually um, put the ads. So now scroll down a little bit. So again, two ways you can do it. You can come in here and go straight and create an ad, upload the file from your computer, put it here and run it there. But again, I don't do it that way because once mm -hmm. the ad is over, it's nowhere to be seen. Yeah, that's right? sucks. I want that post to live on the page forever. So we we, use existing, we will use existing post is what it's called. So scroll up a little higher. Um, the create ad, hit the drop down, and we're going to come down to use existing post. Use existing post. Okay, cool. So now scroll down and then you'll see select post right there. And then you'll just find that post. Perfect. And then continue. And then that's it. So now we'll scroll down and we don't need any call to action button on this one. We just simply want them to view it. So if you scroll down, mm -hmm. you'll see um, you'll see a little lower, you'll see a call to action, the call to action right there. That's where you can add a button. Um, but there's no button add for this one. So we're okay. good. So we'll scroll down. Um, we don't need any of the of this tracking. This is the pixel tracking. So we don't need any of that um, okay. just yet. So we'll hit publish and we're good. So now um, that ad is set to go live tomorrow at 6 a.m. Okay. And so when this happens, so look, publishing one of three, mm -hmm. it, it gets stuck like that. That happens often where you'll be on this final step, you hit the green button, and then it gets stuck in the blue, publishing one of three. It needs to go three of three. So right. when this happens, all you're going to do is open up another tab, go back to your bookmarks, go back to ads manager, and you'll just push it through over, over there. So ads manager, and you'll see this blue button um, in the top right. That's the three campaign ad sets ads. Those, that's the number three. So that's what's stuck. Okay. Is, yeah, click it. Um, and then just force it through here. So hit the publish. <clears throat> and then you can close out that other tab. The 20, yeah, close out that one. Just hit leave. That's fine. Okay, cool. So <clears throat> we'll work out of this one. Okay, perfect. So now they all, they all publish. So we're good. That's step two. Step one, post on the business page. Step two, set up the ad to go live tomorrow at 6 a.m. And then step three, go in and create the custom audience right away. So let's click the three lines or we can go to your bookmarks. It's audiences, but you can click the three lines to the left and then just go to audiences. Okay, cool. So now we want to just, here's what it's all about. Again, 99% of all this stuff is stacking these audiences. So mm -hmm. um, hit that little drop down in the top right. Um, not that one, but the, the one right below it, that little arrow or whatever it is. Yeah, that one. Okay, cool. So so that was the first audience that we created around all the organic ones. Now, all I want to do from this point on is create audiences around videos that you actually run an ad on, okay. right? So so this right here is, is where it starts. So click the blue one, create audience. Um, okay. <clears throat> yeah, that one. And then custom audience. And then we'll go video. And these are all the different audiences that you can you can create. But in your in your case, you're going to only be doing website and video 99% um, okay. of the time. So hit next. And then right here, you're going to just choose the engagement type. So anything above a minute long video, you'll always want to create a custom audience around 25%. That's a good, good enough number, 25%. Um, and then okay. choose videos. Click the blue uh, choose videos. And then you'll just find that video again. Perfect. And then confirm. Okay, awesome. And then um, the retention, bring that down to 365, bring that down to maybe bring that down to 45 days. Facebook will just keep people who watched it in the past 45 days in this audience. Um, mm -hmm. And then the audience name, just give it um, intro video or yeah, yeah, intro video is good. Intro video and then in parentheses, 25%. Perfect. And then create audience. Awesome. And then done. And that's it. So again, this is where it's at. This, we got two. Be, by the time we're all said and done over here, I want like 200. Like it's all about custom audiences. Okay. So, so when we go and run, so this is going to run, this is going to run. When we go run our second ad, we're going to retarget everyone who watched this one. We're going to continue to target our local area, but we're mm -hmm. going to also, but we're going to also retarget everyone who watched this one awesome and then okay. as we run our third one then we retarget everyone who watched ad number one and two 
and we just keep going, just keep going from there. Um, so that's good. So let me let me show you one last part. Click the three lines. Let's see what it looks like in the newsfeed as it goes live. And this is how you can always see a, a live shot of your ads. So click on um, go to go to ads manager, ads manager, and then we'll just simply uh, check the box. Yes. Yeah. And you know what? Why don't we do this real quick? Click on edit right below the title. It's always it's super, super important. Yeah. Edit to title title each tab. So this one, new awareness campaign, take away that. We're going to customize these titles. So this is intro video, intro video, um, and then in parentheses, the actual objective, which was, which was awareness. We went with awareness, right? Intro video, awareness, and then hit the green button. Here? Yes. Publish? Yes. And then, um, and then, and then click on to the left, new awareness ad set. Yeah, click on that one. And then over here, this is where I want to give a brief title, new awareness ad set. So delete that. Here, I want to just briefly describe what we did in this step. Okay. So, so what we did in this step is we went, we went, what was it? 125, 125, 125 budget, 125. And then I'll put the 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 location, the the actual city we're targeting, 20 miles, 125 budget, um, dash, yeah, comma, 20 miles. And then, and then, and then, and then, um, and then let's go advantage placement. That's it. Perfect. So just a little brief description. So when you're looking at it on the dashboard, you know exactly what ad that is. So hit publish. And then the, and then the third one, new awareness ad, you could just put intro video on that one. Intro video, intro video ad. That's fine. Perfect. Intro video ad. Okay, cool. And then publish. Okay. Awesome. That way when, and then hit the, hit the um actually you know what? let's see if we can see it here click the share right above that drop down share yeah click on that and then come down to facebook desktop newsfeed facebook desktop newsfeed perfect so let's see if it's here so it should be down below suzanne so right below her yeah it's not up yet but it'd be right here it'd be your your ad right there the keeping current current matters one that would well been. it's going to post tomorrow at six isn't it yeah, but this would give you a live view of, of how it looks now. Oh, okay. And it's just, yeah, that by clicking the the drop down, but it's it's just not there yet. But that's fine. But it will go live tomorrow, and that's it. So step one, post on the business page. Step two, create the ad. Step three, set up your custom audience, and that's it. So hit the X to the left. <clears throat> so right there to the left, just X out of this part, and you're good. So now, <clears throat> now you just uncheck the boxes. So you have these three steps. Uh, checked so just uncheck the box uncheck every box yeah uncheck that one and then click on the middle tab uncheck that box and then um or you can x out right there yeah perfect just hit that x and you're good awesome so let that run any questions on that whatsoever no that's pretty cool awesome 